Okay, hello guys, this is just a quick walkthrough on how to install the Dork mod. Uh, assuming that you've already downloaded it from the link. Um, it's right here, which if I, I've done the same it's on the mod pack client side. <clears throat> if you haven't downloaded it yet, then if you click on the link, it will take you here. Well, actually, it won't take you here, but it will take you close to this location. I'll put the, this link in in the video. Um, <clears throat> you just download it, and once it's downloaded, you will get this. Um, normal window users will have <clears throat> a extract all here. Um, I use when or I use Seven Zip. Uh, free program pretty much uh, extracts anything from from anything. Um, also you can get that here and <clears throat> I can put the link in the video also. So anyhow, so downloaded now. Um we'll just uh just my button here. Um extract files and it goes to the desktop. As you can see, okay, it's done. Um right here is the mod pack folder the correct one you should have i usually delete this just to get it out of the way <clears throat> so now we have the folder we need okay so life is field game folder if you do not have a shortcut to this game folder you can go to steam the game in steam right here right click on it and properties once you go to properties you go to local files, third one down, and then browse. And it will pull up the folder. Or you can have a shortcut on your desktop. I'm just in the folder so much I keep a shortcut. Anyhow, um, you open the Life Suit Game folder. <clears throat> and then we have the mod folder here. Again, inside of that is another mod folder. Okay, so you see art and then you see art in the main game folder so we open this one we open this one okay um, you see this is the first file so whenever you run into a file you just move it over and drop it and replace <coughs> I'm not going to because my server is a lot more modern but anyhow um, uh, we're going to go to data blocks here over here or data blocks and over here we're going to data blocks so you have uh, audio profiles here you take the file pull it over and make sure that you drop it um, not on another folder up here <coughs> you, know, you don't want to drop it on these because the file will go inside that folder and won't do its job so we're done with the data blocks here here done one file moved over <clears throat> we can back out one and go back to art and then you're going to go to GUI so we back out one back to art go to GUI and then we're going to loading go to loading and then we have one file there drop and then you want to hit replace the file in the destination Alright, so done there. I'm going back to art. Art. Going to sound. Sound. SFX. SFX. Now, when you open this folder on your computer, there's times it'll take a while to load. Even though it's loading, you don't have to wait. You can just drop it in there and then go about your business. So, um,. So say we drop that in there and now we're done with this. So we go back out to art. Back to art. We've already moved that file, so don't worry about that. Now back to the main mod file. So we're going to data. Data. Um here. Data. Open. Open. Now we have these files here. So you can just highlight them all and pull them over and drop them. And done. Now um this LOC file you don't have to worry about that's just translations different languages it's already in English so you don't have to translate it to something else 
unless you don't read English or speak it, and then I'm not making any sense at all. Okay, um, back to data, back to the mod folder. So now here's a big, big, um, pay very good attention to this. So over here you have mod and mods. Um, here you have mods. So he wrote the, uh, all of his files to go into mods. If you've never installed your mod before, you will not have a mods MODS folder. You need to place the entire folder into the Life is Feel game folder. Just like so. And then, you know, replace files. Just like that. Um, the reason you want to keep your mod folder separate is if you do not use the your own launcher, this is where your SF tools are and, and so on. So, some reason I have two of those in there. Okay. So, that's it. Um, you're done. Installed. Um, hope you liked the video. Thank you.